So today, the product that I'm talking about is Lip Sense or Sengence. So Lip Sense is the lip line and it is my favorite lip line of all time. So I'm going to start with the nude colors that I have. That way when we jump into the more vibrant colors, they don't mess with the color of these. So we have Praline Rose, Dusty Rose, and Dawn Rising. And I'm most excited to try Dawn Rising first. Uh, it just really looks like a really beautiful brown neutral color. So I've got my little compact. I'm sorry I keep shaking the camera. I've got my little compact here. So with these, you put on a layer and you let it dry. It dries really quickly. Then you put on another layer and you let it dry. If that's the color you want, you can stop there. If you want it a little bit more pigmented, add another layer. Let it dry. let it dry. You're not supposed to stick your lips together like that, but it's habit and I always do it. So, so far this color is looking exactly how I want it to on me with the very brown tint. So, it's dry already. So, I'm going to go in with another one. And you can probably see that I went a little out of the lines over here. And if I was really concerned about it, I would take my oops remover and I would just remove that. But since I'm going to be taking this color off to show you another one anyways, I'm not going to do that. But just so you know, you can order the oops remover to help remove these um, when you make mistakes. You don't have to. Um, you can use other products, which I will show you the hack that Gina has shared with me. I'm really liking the way it looks. I'm going to use the glossy finish. And this way, with every color, y'all will see a different finish. And you'll kind of get the concept of maybe what colors you like or what finish you like. And that maybe will help you uh, jump on the bandwagon. That feels so nice. This gloss is seriously my favorite gloss. And this color, this is my new favorite color. With this makeup look, just natural, I'm in love. So the product that Gina shared with me to remove these um, is the Neutrogena. It is the Transparent Facial Bar. And you can just take a Q-tip and rub it on the soap and then take this off. But I'm actually going to use a wet rag to take the gloss off first. comes off super easy. And then I'm going to just rub this on this clear bar. So I've got a little soap on there. So the next color that I want to try is Praline Rose. Shake it up a little bit. This one looks similar but with more of a pinky tone. does kind of have more of a pink it's almost more of a mauve you guys I straight up drew on top of my lips so I am going to use some of the oops remover 
to fix that. This time I'm going to use the opal gloss so that y'all can see because this one kind of changes the color. It has kind of a white cast, opal, kind of an opal cast, but I still love it. It really see that completely changed the color but I love this too because this is something that if I wanted to be natural but I wanted to be like a glossy queen so there's praline rose with opal on top it's a very good combination Trying to keep it on my lips this time. This is a very ro dusty rose. It's perfect. Uh, my lips are sticking together. It's the perfect description of this color. I'm going to put the matte on this time. I love this color with the matte topper. It just looks so elegant. You could wear this to work. You could wear this out. You could wear this on an everyday basis. Beautiful. Anybody could wear this red. I'm gonna take it off and then fix my makeup <laughs> and um, now I'm gonna go into the three more vibrant colors that I have so I'm gonna start with my favorite which is she's apples and it is a beautiful like mm, how do I explain it almost like a tangerine orange coral really pretty color I'm going to try to be careful with these so I don't get them all over me. And this is just the glossy gloss. But it's almost a red, but it's a very orangey, corally red. And it's absolutely beautiful. Now, this one I have worn out several times. So, um, I do really like it. I've got two more colors to show you. And I hope I don't look too crazy by the time this video is over. <clears throat> so this one is lilac lacquer and I knew that not a lot of people are going to go for this color for a purple but I'm that girl okay This one definitely needs more than one coat just because they made it a little less pigmented to make it more wearable. So 
So to really make this color crazy, I'm going to use the opal gloss on top of it. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen now? That lilac lacquer looks metallic. Absolutely love it. Now, I just thought of this, and y'all need a little bit of information on the product, right? So the color absolutely will not transfer. It's not, it's not going to move at all. You can do whatever you want, eat, drink, kiss your babies, kiss your husband. It's not going to move. Okay, now the gloss, especially when it's fresh, of course, it's gloss. So it's going to come off, but you're not, you're not going to see it. You may have to reapply the gloss if you just feel like you need it. A lot of times I don't. I may put it on when I first put the product on because that's when you're supposed to put it on. And then I may put it on, you know, several hours later if I just feel like I need it. Never mind the makeup on my lips. Let's do the last color that I have. Crimson Red Diamond. Is that not the most beautiful? It just, it goes on. This color, at, this is the best one in my opinion that I've ever put out. this one I'm just gonna put the matte gloss on uh, I just this one has so much sparkle already what do you guys think they have a lot of color ranges and the main reason I started supporting this company, uh, Lip Sense, which is by Sinjin, is because my good friend Gina, she backs it. And I know that I can trust that anything that she backs is a good product. Well, then I tried it for myself, and I absolutely love it. I mean, all the colors that I have, I will wear, I have wore, or I am going to wear, um... The only complaint that I've ever heard about these products, literally the only complaint I've ever heard, is that when you're first applying them, they burn a little bit. Um, and that is because they do have alcohol in them. The reason being is it has to really clean your lips in order for the color to just really stick and stay. You know, a clean base is the best base especially for this product. You can contact any lip sense person that you want because I'm sure that you probably know somebody but if you don't I will leave all of Gina's information below so that you can contact her. You don't even have to buy a product if you just want to get the book and so that you can see everything they have all the prices anything that you want she will send you the book okay if you are ready to order a product she can tell you what she has in stock or what she needs to order, anything like that. So it's just up to you. It's everybody's personal preference. I just wanted to swatch them and let y'all see how beautiful the colors are. So I do not know <clears throat> where my camera cut off that time. Um, it has cut off on me three times today, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, but either way, um, I just, I hope I got my point across to you guys that I am all about beauty on a budget and there have been times that yes, I could not afford uh, lip scents and that's fine. I'm not pushing you to spend your last dollar on lip scents if that's all you have. I would never do that. Um, if you have the money, if you have the budget to spend on a 
good lip product that is going to last you a really long time, then this is the product for you. And like I said, there are ways around it. Of course, this channel is Beauty on a Budget. So if you don't want to spend $20 for the Oops Remover, you can get this from Walmart for, I want to say it was less than $3. So, you know, do it. Okay? If you have any questions at all, please comment down below. I will have Gina on this video in the comments active so that if y'all have any questions I can't answer, she's right there with me to answer. Okay? I will also share this on her page. So, um, I know I'm forgetting something because my video, my camera cut off so many times that it cut off what I was saying. Who knows, but look, this is my collection of lip scents and I absolutely love it. I've got colors, I've got toppers. I cannot wait to try the blush. I love the volumizer. It feels so good on my lips. Um, so, yeah. Y'all have a good day.